of the most beautiful results of all this moisture is the mountain lakes. Some, such as the Bachalp Lake above Grindelwald, are covered with ice right through until summer. It's hard to find any life in these lakes. The water is too cold and the winters too long. And many of these areas are extremely isolated. Any passing waterfowl that might have a few fish eggs stuck in its feathers would hardly consider stopping here for a rest, which means that some of these lakes seem almost to be underwater deserts. Famously, the weather in these mountains can change within minutes. Grey skies, misty damp air and rain doesn't exactly gladden most hearts, except for one rather special creature. The alpine salamander likes these conditions. It might be native to the Alps, but that certainly doesn't mean it's good at climbing. At 85% humidity level, these mainly nocturnal creatures will also venture forth during the day, and it can often seem to be raining salamanders. A salamander wanting to get back to its cave won't be put off by even the sheerest rock face. skin equipped with poisonous glands to protect it against predators must be kept moist that's why it's important that it reaches its shelter when the weather turns fine before the sun comes out the salamanders disappear without a trace only to reappear again when it rains The Androsachi vandellii wait for sunshine and the insects that appear with it. Yellow blossoms signal to the bees, I need pollinating. But pink ones say, fly on, there's nothing more to fertilize here. Alpine flowers need special strategies to survive the harsh conditions. This is one of the world's most famous flowers, the mythical alpine edelweiss. The typical sheen of the leaves around the bloom comes from tiny air bubbles that reflect the light, attracting insects and protecting the leaves from the strong, high-altitude ultraviolet rays. When the yellow bellflower blossoms, it's doomed. Some can grow for up to 10 years before they blossom once and then die. Fine hairs on alpine flowers protect them against the harmful UV light rays that are stronger in the mountains, as well as from dehydrating the thin air and dry fern winds. Not all gentians have blue flowers. But the intense color gives it a high sun protection factor. And as a positive spin-off for the plant, bees find the blue irresistible. The golden root needs neither other rose root plants nor insects to reproduce. At a pinch, it will do so on its own. Another adaptation to the hardships of life in the high mountains. They look quite artless, these colorful alpine flowers, and yet they're absolute experts when it comes to sophisticated survival strategies. 